In this video, we'll show you how to set up audio encryption and to set passwords for all your devices in a live room. We're going to use our small conference room 1, which is live as can be seen by the green lines above each device in the routing screen. All we need to do is go over to the gear wheel in the upper right-hand corner of our screen. This takes us to the setup window that we discussed in the software overview video. This is where we can select audio encryption for the devices passing audio and set passwords for the devices in the live room. Let's set up audio encryption first. When I click on audio encryption, I see that the three devices that pass audio tells me that audio encryption is off. When I select Turn on Encryption, it takes me to a window that's asking me do I want to auto-generate the encryption or do I have a key that I want to enter in myself. We will be using auto-generate in this demonstration. We're going to select Turn on in the lower right corner. This takes us to the screen where we can see the three devices that pass audio and see the encryption being turned on for each one. When the encryption is finished, you'll see a small dialog box at the bottom of the routing screen telling us it's finished. The next thing we'll do is set up passwords for each device. When we select Device Passwords, it takes us to a screen that tells us that no common password has been set for our small conference room 1. When I select Set Common Password, Designer takes me to another screen asking me to set up the password I'll use for the devices. Please ensure you keep this password somewhere secure and have access to it later if you want to change it or turn the password off. Once you enter the password and confirm it, we will click on Set Password. We'll see that the password has been set for each device and we'll get a window on the bottom of the routing screen that tells us a common password has been set. Going back to the routing screen, we can see a key symbol on the green line of each device, indicating that encryption has been set and is being used for the live room. If you notice that we now have a red dotted line from the MXA mute button to the P300 audio processor, that is just indicating to us that there's no audio being passed between these two devices, and therefore no encryption is taking place. Now let's discuss how to remove both the encryption and passwords from this live room. As we did before, we go to the upper right corner of the screen and click on the gear wheel to bring up the setup screen. We click on Audio Encryption and are taken to the next window where we can select Turn Off Encryption or Rekey Encryption. We also can see that the devices are showing that encryption is on. We're going to select Turn Off Encryption. This takes us to another window where we have to enter the password we used before to set up a common password for this live room. We're going to select Use the same password for all devices and enter that password in the space provided. Once I add the password, the Sign In link on the lower right appears in green. We'll select that and it takes us back to the screen that shows all the devices and we will get another notice on the bottom of the routing screen that tells us that room encryption has been turned off. We still have to turn off the passwords. Again, we'll select Device Passwords, and it takes us to a new window that tells us that device passwords are on. We will select Change or Remove Password. We will get another window and there we will select Remove All Passwords and another link on the bottom right of our screen that says Remove Passwords. This will take us to another screen and we can see the device turn from on to off and another message on the bottom of the routing screen informing us the device passwords have been removed. That's it. In this video we've discussed how to turn on and off both audio encryption and device passwords. If you have additional questions on this, please refer to the Designer 6 User Guide.